The evacuation of U.S. citizens from Afghanistan is stepping up today at the airport in Kabul. Foreign contractors are also being taken out. Other foreign nationals are leaving, and so are Afghans who are fortunate enough to have exit visas. New York City fireman and Marine Chris Lutman was killed in Afghanistan back in 2019. Denied, his widow is sharing her thoughts about what's happening now exclusively with NBC's Tim Furlong. Absolutely. Was it worth it? Absolutely. Shannon Slutman says her husband, Marine Sergeant Chris Slutman, and any other service members killed in Afghanistan did not die in vain. Their 20 years in Afghanistan kept us safe and that it kept people safe here in the U.S. and it kept people safe in Afghanistan. She also believes the U.S. presence there gave Afghan women and girls a chance to find their voices. She aches to think they might now be losing them and hopes human rights experts can help them and help the translators who worked with her husband. We first met Shannon and her three daughters at her husband's funeral. Living in Delaware, Shannon was married to a hero's hero, a Marine and a highly decorated longtime New York City firefighter. In fact, he helped train Afghan soldiers. It's funny, I've been thinking a lot about that. Is, you know, what, would, what would he tell me? What would his take on all of this be? Shannon says Chris was very proud of his service in Afghanistan, and he too wouldn't think this was all for nothing. She also says he knew down deep that the Taliban would eventually be a very tough opponent for the Afghan soldiers he was training. He knew that we were not meant to be there forever. Um, I think he worried about not being able to make enough of an impact to allow them to be able to stand on their own and to allow them to, to keep the Taliban down. In addition to being a busy mom, Shannon now spends a lot of her time working with the Tunnel to Towers Foundation. Formed after 9-11, the foundation helps families like Shannon's that over the years have lost soldiers or first responders. She is helping them with a gala and road race fundraiser at the Delaware beaches next month. I knew I didn't have the emotional bandwidth to do my own foundation, so being able to throw some energy behind the Tunnel to Towers Foundation has helped helped me grieve, and it also shows my girls a healthy outlet for for helping others. And that's exactly the kind of thing Chris would have wanted them to do. In Wilmington, Delaware, Tim Furlong, News 4 New York.